Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the NFL, Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? Well, he did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head cheese. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all you can eat horse soup buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. warming up. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Not that that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life experience. Boom! And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good miss on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Uh 
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Third down, and, well, good luck. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and nine. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down to nine. Something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And he runs into the end zone for a 
touchdown. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 30. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Kabam! Man, the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. Four. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped the chaputs. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! First and ten. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he breaks away. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. First down and seven. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. When his brain 
is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that. But she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And that'll be second and eight to go. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and 10. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and 10. It's two yard run before he stopped. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Third down and eight. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. First down and nine. Grabs it and picks up four on that reception. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. They ought to activate landmines in the end zone during the dance celebrations. <laughs> Be a lot more entertaining, that's for sure. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. But I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. 
Watch me! The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Wim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Murphy Brown! What? What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing.
And that'll bring up third and one. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, and John goes power to green like a haiku. <laughs> you know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. First down. And it's first and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Scott, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. First down and five. Kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and two. And that's just a great run for a touchdown.
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. Touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third and four. Shave a few days off his life. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs and it's first and ten and he laterals the ball man these guys like how with the brain scrambler and it's first and ten That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking.
looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Five on that play. Second down and five. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me. Nice run. No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And it's first and ten. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. down and ten. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. He refuses to go to first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and six. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a haiku.
Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Back in 2017, they started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. And it was just trying to make America great again, Grim. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Put that one in the loss column. The Grim Bay attackers lose the game. And they lost me 50 bucks. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got that all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...